Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Marathon Mondays with Mal here at the world headquarters of Marathon Coach in Coburg, Oregon. Hope everyone had a good weekend. I know I did. Got to make sure my collar stays in. Let's do this right here. So anyway, hope everyone had a good weekend. It's another Monday. It's episode 59. And today, let me explain what we're going to do. I want you to tell me what you want to see. So if you haven't commented before or you're a frequent commenter, let me know what you want to see right now on a comment on Facebook. I've got Todd and Mickey with me, and we are going to go throughout the building and uh, check that. Check what you want to see. So go ahead and make your comments. Um, and while we gather those comments on what you would like to see, uh, we're going to take a look around. As you hear the production behind me, this is the flooring department over here. And 1283 is behind me, kind of getting the uh, final detail going. And also, a lot of you and a lot of people here are excited about the new Maritime Magazine issue. The new Maritime Magazine uh, just went to print, and a couple of tweaks are being made. And speaking of a couple of uh, uh, changes, we got Pete Sutton down here, the head of marketing, shooting some photos. I think he's doing a story on the new bays. So let's go down here and see if we can invade his space. So let me know what you guys want to see out there because uh, we'll go check it out. Watch out for these cords here. All right, everybody, Pete Sutton here, someone you know quite well by now. Pete, uh, we appreciate you uh, stopping what you're doing. Tell us what you're doing this morning. Well, we're doing a story that uh, Mickey wrote and I am doing the photography for which is about how we've changed up the bays, added some fun new materials like the kind of the carbon fiber wrap along the sides, the the wood grain and the, the beautiful silver handles. We just dolled it up, gave it a fun new look, uh, a very classy look. And we usually just have two colors. We kind of have a tan ensemble and then this which is kind of the blacks and grays. That's great. So it's and this is for an article that Mickey wrote Yep. Uh, in the Maritime. Uh, this, uh, how, how many years have you been working on the Maritime? Ten. Ten years. So the Maritime, for those of you who don't know, most of you do, I would hope if you don't, the Maritime is 100% published in-house by Marathon, and it's a magazine, and stop me if I'm wrong here, but it's a magazine not only about Marathon Coach, but about lifestyle, yes. about the RV uh, luxury bus lifestyle, uh, where to take your coach. Mickey writes these amazing articles about where to go, what to do uh, with in, in the lifestyle of RV. That's right. And uh, it's very unique to Marathon, uh, very similar to a lot of things that Marathon does. We lead the way when it comes to innovation, and Marathon Mondays is part of that, the Maritime is part of that, the annual calendar. Uh, is part of that. So uh, thinking outside the box, uh, to use a cliche, is definitely something that our marketing team does. So uh, thank you for letting us uh, jump in on your time here, sure. Pete. Uh, no so we're going to go over here, because I do want to show you a pre-owned coach, because that's why we're here. We're gonna, we want to sell you a coach. Come on, you guys. One thing you'll notice here, this coach, this is 1283, it's in its final detail, and they've got some of the exterior features masked off because they, they're out here buffing and making sure that there's no paint flaws. This is a spot where they find, if there's any flaws to the paint, where it can be fixed prior for it going to, uh, going to market to be sold, for the lack of a better term. This is 1283. 
this is a uh, this is an H3 double slide and it is for sale so uh, we'll be excited to tour 1283 here in the coming weeks let's uh, let's head out here Also, you can see behind me, everybody, Al Christensen working uh, with our flooring department. Um, a lot of you know Al, our, our lead designer and employee number one. Actually, 1283, the coach that Todd just showed you on camera, um, that coach was designed by Alan, and the lead engineer was uh, Jay Graham, another person that we know quite well from the tours. So, uh, Al Christensen working on something with the flooring department. Let's go over here. So while you're gathering your thoughts of what you guys want to see this morning, we're going to go out here and look at Coach 419. Okay, so it's a little rainy. There you go. We had a little lapse in uh, Wi-Fi there as we moved outside the building. And keep in mind, because we're going to go all over the building today and show you what you want to see. Oh. The, the irony is that Andy Ibarra from our paint department is walking up to us. Andy, real quick, we're live on Facebook. I hate to grab you. What are you working on today? We're just kind of going around the building asking people what they're working on today, and we're asking our viewers what they want to see. What are you working on today? Uh, I'm about to send a panel out to uh, Mr. Burtis. Oh, yes, yes, All absolutely. Right. I added some new textures to it, and that's what we're doing. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And we saw you with your panels. My phone's ringing. Uh, we saw you with your panels uh, a couple of shows ago, right. uh, so that's really a, a thing that really helps the customers make their decision on paint paint jobs, right? Yeah, this is a last minute thing. Coach is already in paint and he calls up and says he wants a new texture or something different. That's great. And that's an example of what Marathon does, going the extra length. Uh, the, the coach is already in paint and we're making last minute changes for the customer's customization. Yep. The customer's customization. That could be an album title. Thanks, Andy. Hey, Appreciate your time. We oh, have a question about paint. We have a question about paint. Sorry. So, <laughs> for the exterior paint job, is there some kind of print or film that you can use on the rear windows if a customer wants to continue the paint out without messing up the windows? So, how do you paint the rear windows? Uh, we put vinyl before, but it doesn't match that good. Okay. It, it, and it doesn't last. It um. Uh, it bubbles up and it just fails. Gotcha. Yeah. We've uh, actually painted windows and uh, that's a, a task in itself. And, it's uh, difficult, but we do do it. Yeah. And it's not cheap. Yeah. So. And without giving away any of our, any of Andy's department's secrets, uh, we do do it, but it is difficult, right? I've, right. I've watched yeah. you guys try to work through that. It's, I do know that uh, it's a challenge for our paint department, yeah. but, Absolutely. but it is possible to paint over those windows. Now, when you paint over them, you don't see out as much. No, they can't, you don't see anything at all. Gotcha. They, they, because they're epoxied and uh, painted and sandblasted pretty much. Yeah. Epoxied. And uh, all the paint process through the window. So, yeah, you don't see nothing out. So you lose some of that natural light that you would have right. when you paint over the windows. It might aesthetically look pleasing on the outside, but on the inside, it's just kind of a, it's kind of a choice. Yeah. Gotcha. Awesome. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate right. your time. Have a good Monday. You too. All right, you guys. So we're going to go take a look at 419. Todd and I were out here on uh, Friday. We are out on Friday? I think we were out here Friday taking a look at this coach. This is Someone's going to get a really good deal on this coach, and let me give you the back history on this. This is a VIP. No bedroom. This coach has a huge bathroom with a big shower. This coach is set up for 20 people approximately to go. It's got couches and wraparound couches. We'll go in and check it out. Uh, this is a 1996 and this coach is set up for a VIP, maybe tours, uh, maybe a party bus, but retailing uh, from Marathon for $129,000, it's a great value. It's really cool on the outside. It's got that retro look, and 
the inside is in great shape. So for $129,000, you're gonna get into a Prevo chassis. It is. Reggie, our, our, our guy down in Las Vegas, he's, he's our guy on the streets in Las Vegas, Reginald Owens just said it, it really it, it's preserved well and I'll agree with him it's got a good retro look and uh, for those of you who are into that um, heavy stainless sided classic look of a Prevo chassis this marathon number 419 is the way to go let's go take a look inside real quick All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice when you come in is that behind me you see how many sofas are in here. The salon is set up as an entertainment coach. And uh, it's got great style. It's a black and red leather sofas throughout. There's a chance that we lost you guys on the Wi-Fi. So, I'm going to let Todd lead the way so that we can make sure that we have uh, our Wi-Fi. One thing I notice when you come in here is it's got a really nice kitchenette. The galley is really nice. It's got a full and a full-size refrigerator. Take a look at the size of that bathroom with a full-size shower. We don't want to lose you guys. We're trying to keep our Wi-Fi going. Take a look at that. It's a great entertainment area in the back and it's got a pocket door that closes off that rear area. So this is a really nice coach for someone who either needs a VIP coach, wants to take people would just like to do a little bit of remodeling and set it up the way they want it. For $129,000 in 1996, Marathon Coach 419. Any questions about it, you can reach me at malw at marathoncoach.com or any of us at Marathon, whether it be Texas, Florida, or of course here at the World Headquarters in uh, Coburg, Oregon. Let's head uh, back outside and back into uh, the production floor and we'll talk about what you guys want to see. Um, if, you haven't, if you haven't commented yet, feel free to comment and we will uh, we'll go throughout the building as long as we can. And remember, if we lose you on Wi-Fi, it's because we're going wherever we want to today in the building. And sometimes when you're in a cage uh, like we are, our Wi-Fi skips a beat for a little bit. But if you miss any portion, you can always go to YouTube or Facebook. In addition, everybody, go to Marathon Mondays with Mal on Facebook. There's a Facebook page called Marathon Mondays with Mal. Like that page. If you haven't liked the Marathon page yet, like that. The reason you want to do that is because every time we go live with a video, it'll pop up on your smartphone or your computer when you're on Facebook, which is really cool. It lets you know when we are live, whether it be myself or the marketing team or another salesman uh, showing you a different aspect of Marathon. Let's get out of here. Take a look at that cockpit, too. Look at that beautiful seat. All right. You can see Interstate 5 behind me. So for those of you who are on the East Coast, I hope your lunchtime is going well. Uh, down south, you're probably at lunchtime also. Here every Monday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, here in Coburg. So let's head on inside so we can get out of the rain. It's not really raining. It's just uh, it's just a little bit sprinkling out here. But it just went break time. It just went break time here, so we will uh, see where we can go. Hey, you guys know Scott Ruckel. You've seen him before on uh, Marathon Mondays.
All right. So we're back inside by 1283. So Mickey, uh, what are some ideas uh, that people want to see? All right. Well, Tim would like to see your office because it's been a long time coming. Oh, yes. And then we have quite a few people who would like to see engineering to ask um, a few questions. Somebody wants to know about um, the hot water heater. Someone else wants to know what kind of child safety items could they put in a coach. I love it. Um, let's head, let's walk. We've, we've let's walk. That. So here's what we're going to do. Somebody else would like to know about the X versus the H with the, the dual slides and the quad slides. And okay. Thank you, Mickey. That's excellent. And a big thanks to Mickey, our assistant marketing director here at Marathon. Uh, she's always with us on Marathon Mondays. I'm walking backwards and forwards. I should just spin. Do you enjoy this? I'm wearing my glasses so I can see what I'm saying. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up to uh, engineering. We're going to ask a couple of questions. It's break time. It's, excuse me. It's break time. So we're going to see if we can grab those guys. And then while we're up there, we'll check out my office. My office is right down the hall from uh, engineering. Here's a good shot of 1285, an X3 double slide that's in production, designed by Brenda. And head engineer again on this one is Jay Graham. Here's a good shot of the side of 1288, also in production. 1288 is an H3 double slide. It is, uh, actually Mark is the head engineer on this and uh, both Al Christensen and Brenda Kraft are the uh, designers on this. Brenda and Al are working together to design 1288, which is an H3 double slide. We're gonna kind of walk the back way so you can see a couple of different departments here uh, at Marathon. It's our shipping and receiving department. And to just kind of give you the lay of the land, outside that door is the entry to service. This is our shipping and receiving and we're gonna go right up these stairs uh, to the, um, we're going to go up these stairs up to the um, upholstery department, which leads into the design suite, which we've seen many times on Marathon Mondays with uh, Al and Brenda. Got to check before I go in. Oh, hey, look, there's a, it's a good aesthetic right there. All right. I'll grab that door for you, Todd. The upholstery department, we've been in here before. Here's a, here's the, the uh, a seat for the cockpit of 1285 that's being worked on. We've talked about this before, how they take, they take the seats, they strip it down, they put extra cushion in it, they put massage features in it and uh, just make it a luxury seat for a luxury coach. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mind if we just walk through? Nope. Everybody, Al and Brenda, you know them well. How you doing? Well, we are, uh, we just saw uh, 1288 down on the production floor. We saw that both of you are working on 1288. We uh, just walked by 1283, which I know that I you are. 1288 Brenda's. It says both of your names on it, in defense of me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so what are you guys working on today? Uh, I'm working on some service projects. Alan Christensen, line 61. And and Brenda, how's your how's your Monday morning? It's good. Going by fast. I like it. Yeah, nice to have you. Good. Thanks, guys. All right, so here we are. Hope our Wi-Fi has stayed with you. This is the engineering department, and they are all on break. Let me see if I can... Uh... We have a quick question oh, about yeah. design that you can answer, they can answer. Kevin says, my memory needs to be refreshed on why Al uses elephants as his trademark. 
it's, I think, uh, it's a thing about luck. So the question is, why does Al Christensen put elephants in every coach he's ever designed? Uh, I think it has to do with luck. Um, and at this point, it has to do with tradition because Al Christensen has put an elephant in every coach for a very long time that he's designed. So at this point, I'd say it's more about tradition and sticking with uh, the theme that he's always had here uh, at Marathon. So let me, um, let me see what's going on. Hang on right here. everybody so I stole Jay from break time so Jay we've got a couple of questions basically the theme of our Marathon Monday show this morning is we, we kind of let the viewers ask the questions what they want to see sure. so we're walking the building and we had a couple of questions that had to do with engineering uh, Mickey, what's the first question that we want to ask Jay this morning all right the first question is Mark would like to know some details about um, the heat, the hot water heater. So Mark is asking about the hot water heater, Jay. Maybe the brand, maybe... There's two, well they're custom made for us, and they're two, they're ten and a half gallon, and they stack, so they basically provide unlimited hot water, and because there's two, if you did happen to have one that started to malfunction, sure. you have a backup. So oh, that's we've, we've used the system for, golly, 30 something years. Oh, that's great. And so it's worked out really well for us. So you not only have a, a primary, but you've got a backup. Mm -hmm. That's well, when they're working in tandem and the water's running through there, it's it's pretty much hot, unlimited hot water. So oh, that's great. They heat really quickly, and it's yeah, it's worked out. Well, it's worked out so well. We've done it for like I said, over thirty years. It's, it's a good design. It's is a good yeah, design. Yes, I yes. like it. What else you got, Mickey? All right. So the next question deals with child safety. Um, Doc has a five-year-old, and of course, you know, there's a lot that comes with keeping a five-year-old safe. Sure. And he wants to know what type of safety devices um, that could be in one of the coaches um, to allow your child to be harnessed. Um, That's a good question. So, we, Doc's asking, he's got a five-year-old, and I've got a three-year-old. Um, what features have you done over your 30 years with Marathon? Uh, that is infant or toddler uh, a feature for, for toddlers? Boy, I, I can't think of too many. I know when we've done bunks, they've done safety rails in the bunks to, to yes. make sure that the kids I don't, saw some photos don't roll of that. out. Rails, ladders, things like that. We've done what we called a, a baby gate. So at the front entrance, we, had a, we have cabinets on both sides and there's a, an air operated, you've seen our pocket doors, it'd be like an air operated little gate that comes across. Yes and closes off the, so for the age 345, you've got the double set of stairs. Right. So it comes across to keep the child from being able to go down, go the, down stairs the stairs into the cockpit. Yes. Excellent. Yes. That's, That's a good feature. As far as all the other items, I think it's, um, the cabinets are basically standard cabinetry that you could use safety latches. You know, there's several baby latches, things like that. We've done a lot with putting switches up out of the way. There's, mm -hmm. and I can think of one coach where we took all the switches and put them up four or five feet off the floor so the, the kids... So the little fingers down so here. You, exactly. So That's good. Uh, uh, they can always climb, but uh, in certain spots we had them, yeah, where they didn't. And awesome. then we've done things with um, a few switches we can adjust the... So you, you have to hold down on it for a couple of seconds to for something to activate. Gotcha. Um, like our front entry step, you have to hold down on it in a couple of seconds before it'll come out. So okay. there's some things with our switch groups we can program and do some, some customization there for sure. customers that need it. Awesome. Okay. And from my experience, any ideas that potential clients have come up with, you've been able to make happen. So I would say if there are certain safety features sure. he was wanting, most likely you can make it a reality. One of the nice things about the coach is that you think of it as a home that because of our electronics are also integrated we have so much control over the switching and all that that, right. that we can do a few more things that way than you can in a normal home but because again they're cabinetry and different things that we you would normally have um, we can incorporate any sort of customized you know 
infant solutions that, that a customer can come up with. For sure. Um, and we've talked about it before, in fact, probably with you, that you guys don't say no, you say yes, and then figure out how to get it done. And that's kind of a cool thing about uh, having such an established and experienced uh, engineering department. So well, we've, our customers are pretty creative. So we I like that. We've come up with a lot of different things that just based on their input and, and custom needs that they have. We've done some pretty um, interesting and elaborate things in some cases. So. Awesome. How was your weekend? Did well, you have weekend a good weekend? Great. Good. Great. What'd you do? Got to see the grandchild this week. I like it. Yeah. And how old? She is almost six months. So. X3 model, why does it only come in a double slide instead of also a quad slide like the H3s? So Glenn is asking why the X versus the H only comes in a double slide, and I know you're probably the perfect person to answer this. Well, there, so a few years back, I guess it's been, I want to say 20, 2012 or so, okay. Prevo changed their platform on the X to be um, a longer wheelbase, and with that long, I think a lot of effort has gone into trying to design those in. Sure. We have the triples and the quads available on the X, on the H. Right. Well, so uh, most people who are looking for something like a triple or a quad usually yeah, just just kind of fall into the H chassis. And so I guess to sum that up, for the most part, because of the 2012 rehaul or redesign, let's say, of the X chassis. Uh, for for the most part, safety reasons, they don't put additional slides in there. It's a two slide. Um, it just kind of the way the structure works out is kind of challenging with that longer wheelbase to get the sure. structure necessary. Um, I think from from some of their initial looks at it was that the compromises that were going to have to be made to the to the chest, so like the underbelly, usually you put extra structure. Exactly. Our customers still need storage, so to do what it would take to and I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to speak for Prego because yes. you know they know, but the structure they have to provide that starts to compromise this. You have to put more in the underbelly to support those slide rooms, and by the time you do that, you end up with start to compromise the storage. Yes. Um, and our customers are you got to have your storage really big on storage, so we try not to impact that base space you know, as okay. little as possible. Thank you for taking your break. Hey. Jay was you really bet. inspiring. We have more questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I have a question for Jay related to the front top cap or hood. I wanted to know if the H3 model cap would be an option for the X3. So someone is asking if they can put the cap that they see on the H on the X. It's sure it could be done. Now that's a pretty lengthy process. It um, those caps are designed and molds are made, and so it's. Uh, it would have to be remolded, right? Right. It's a it's about a six month process to go through, and and c between coming up with the design and doing the molds and doing the prototypes, we have the ability with our digital, you know, our digital world of of uh, 3D CAD, we can actually you know create the models so get a, a really nice look. In the past, we'd have to make a. We go up there with foam and carve out a shape and put it on there and kind yes. of take a look. Now we can, with the models, we can model it up, get something that everybody you know, looks like pretty, like they agree to. Just have it carved, have our router carve it out of foam and just set it on the roof and go, oh, looks good. Yeah. And then molds are made and it's a it's a pretty intense process to go through from from design because to, your tooling is not set up that way right it's a whole new mold right. so because the H cap and the X cap are different they would have it would have to be designed and fit to, sure. to the X and would the answer be, be different just for the roof cap you mean the the well I was speaking of the roof cap the, the roof cap the, over the cockpit right yep. right the front end is they're considerably different so uh, that's not as lengthy a process to do because we we only put a small little bevel in the front to house our grill sure. on the X, um, but because the the two are considerably different, it's just it would be a different different design, different molds, but not quite as lengthy as what it would take for. These are in depth questions. Good job, you guys. All, All right. right, I think we're down to two more. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, or the last two. So Sharon says hello from Cincinnati, Ohio and wants to know um, the audio video system and the coaches. Is it possible to add a computer to the systems? Sure. Well, yeah. We've done that, haven't we've we? We've had a lot of customers. Um, we can do a, a few different options on that. Um, we have, can be wireless or wired. Um, okay. We can add printers. 
different. I've seen a couple of printer uh, interfaces. So yes, you can add a computer to the audio visual. You can add a, um, I mean, really, with audio visual, it's sky's the much, limit, right? Not much you can't do other than space and budget. So. Yeah, right. Good point. And we'll have an article about twelve thirteen up on our blog at some point, and that one had a lot of special. That one had uh, the owner had some some incredible um, data requests. So he kept he kept something like fifty gigabytes of live data on the coach accessible 24 7 at any point at any point okay. and had it all accessible wirelessly and and uh, had a team of of, of uh, network administrators basically keeping all that information he's the kind of guy that would want that so they can go to the blog it will be up shortly it was in a past issue of the maritime HF. so if they have past issues of maritime it's in there okay but we're working to get our maritime articles on the blog so it will be there eventually yeah check the blog uh mickey wrote a great article on coach 1213 and the enhancements that were made to the uh adding a basically computer server uh, it was a it was a network of of um, hard drives and uh it was pretty elaborate system talk that, about connected that yeah, he would he would watch um, a lot of different blogs and and he was really into a lot of science and just a lot of different things and he would find things and tell them to load it into the system and so it's constantly every week that's great be updated with with um, live information current information that he was following at the time okay as well as a huge network or a huge library of music and movies and, and wow. Uh, all that sort of thing. We also did a coach that had a full um, production studio in the back, a oh. video production studio. Wow! So okay. it had it had the monitors, it had all the electronic equipment, it had all the the video equipment. It had a big in the back instead of a bedroom. It had uh, yeah, it had a full control panel across the curbside and a rack in the back to house it was something like four hundred pounds worth of worth of digital oh uh, recording equipment. And, and I know right around the corner from where we're standing, there's a, a picture of the Murphy bed for the drummer that we did. Uh, mm -hmm. We did a, a drummer's uh, Murphy bed so that he could have his drum kit in his bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, that's really so cool. So we've, we've, we've put a lot of electronics depending on you know, depending on the customers. All right, two easy questions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jay, you're inspiring. <laughs> what time is it? So, <laughs> Jake would like to know um, how long it takes to do the inside of the coaches from start to finish. And Jeffrey would like to know, can a CB radio be added to any coach? Oh my goodness, CB radio? CB radio, yes, can be added to any coach. As far as the interior, I'll just speak to the, the process is 73 days. 73 working days. Okay. So from when the coach hits here right. to where it rolls out. Um, so on your production schedule, 73 working days. 73 working days. The, when the coach comes out of paint and hits our production floor, it's roughly, I want to say, nine, nine weeks. And uh, nine weeks is, is kind of a ballpark depending on... Sure. Depending on... Uh, Customization. The coach and, and just different, like an X3 chassis has the... We incorporate in the, the time to polish the exterior. Sure. So the H don't have that, don't have that in the schedule. But there is more to paint, so a little bit of the polish time is used in paint. So, uh, yeah, it happens. It happens pretty quickly. Okay. Uh, and you've been thanked for answering so many questions. Yeah, this my is pleasure. Pleasure. this is great. Thank you for right. taking your yeah. break. My pleasure. Uh, everybody, it's you, good to talk to you on. Yeah, and Jay, whenever you've been, you've been on the show many times, so we really appreciate it, and uh, that's a really cool aspect of Marathon Mondays is that your willingness. A lot of people who work here, their willingness to talk to us and give uh, just a real transparent look into Marathon. Hey, so, anytime. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jay. All right. So, uh, so gosh. We'd still like to see your office. Yeah, let's head on this way. In fact, well, let's walk through Pete's office because he's in here. <laughs> you just saw him uh, down shooting 1283's bays and 20 bucks. We won't show his computer screens, but 20 bucks says he is uh, editing those photos right now or going over what he shot. That is Thanks, correct. Pete. Hey, everybody. You, everybody, Rod Johnston here. 
Everybody Hi, knows guys. Rod. We're walking around. Welcome to Mondays with Mal. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking around the building just uh, kind of letting them tell us through their comments what they want to see. We just uh, spoke Perfect. with Jay Graham. We looked at 419, uh, which is uh, for sale. The VIP coach. Yeah, VIP mm -hmm. coach. Seems to be a really good value, $129,000 on retail. And there's got to be somebody that needs it. That's my thought, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, awesome. That was a good one. How was your weekend? It was good. Good. It was good. Awesome. How's everything? It's good. good. It's good. good. Welcome to Mondays. Thank you. So, everybody, Rod taking some time out with us. Now, it's what? My office. I cleaned it. So, I didn't know that we were going to be coming in here this morning, but hey, this is it. Um, I'm in the process right now of putting a monitor, where um, Eddie Bach, our head of maintenance, is going to put a monitor on the wall so we can come in here and talk videos and talk about uh, the videos that we want to do and go over everyone's comments, so that's kind of cool. But as you see, this is one of my favorite aspects of my office. Um, Pete Sutton put this together for me, and um, they, they printed it and wrapped it. This is one of the things that Sarah in our marketing department does too is uh, our cabinet shop will build these frames. They cut these frames for us and then we can print on this uh, canvas-like material right here in the building and then wrap it around. These are actual uh, pinpoints of where we have owners. Uh, this map represents where the owners are throughout the, uh, well, for the most part, United States. You see a little bit of Mexico and Canada up there. Um, but it's about a year, a year old, so it's not up to date too much. But um, and another thing about my office and uh, Rick's office and Jim Cogley's office and Rod's office is we overlook the production floor. So I hope the glare is not too bad. You can see out into the production floor, uh, and uh, right down here at our showroom where the coaches are for sale, um, we like to move couple of coaches in there um, and rotate the inventory that is inside here um, yeah yeah look at that. isn't that cool that's a thousand trails all those thousand trails pins that neat I grew up going to thousand trails uh, campsites and uh, got my childhood dog as a stray at the Sun River Bend one that was really cool and then if you look in the corner over there, there's a vintage cell phone that I still use. I'm kidding. I don't use that brick anymore. Can you imagine? All right. So we're going to boogie out this way. And uh, I think Sarah's in here. Sarah, do you mind if we say good morning to you? Good morning. Everybody knows Sarah. So Sarah, tell us what you're working on this morning. I know that uh, there's a couple of things coming up, like the magazine that you're probably helping on and yeah. the uh, Charleston rally for the club. Actually, uh, this morning I'm putting together a picture picture book for the owners of 1257. Excellent. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. That's really cool. That's And that's a neat thing that we do for uh, coach owners, mm -hmm. is when you buy a new coach from Marathon, like 1257, uh, Sometimes we put together a uh, book for uh, for them. And I think we've shown it before on Marathon Mondays. Sometimes it just it's just beautiful photos yeah. uh, in book form. It's kind of a, like a coffee table book. Mm -hmm. How was your weekend? Good. It was great. Derek, what else are they going to say, right? To Sarah. Oh. She got her own shout. You got a shout out. Wow. Woo There's time for everything. There is. <laughs> there is. All right. So um, as we're staying here in the hall, is there another? Does anyone want to see anything else? I mean, we, we took a lot of time with Jay. We got to see Rod. We got to see Sarah. We got to see my office. That's kind of cool. We have a couple shout-outs for Rod. He's not here to hear them. Excellent. Um, and so far, you have, you have addressed everybody's questions and issues. Cool. How about we walk down the uh, spiral staircase uh, to the uh, lobby and show everybody... Um, kind of the brag wall be, as we sign off. What do you think? That sounds like an awesome I call it the brag wall. It's really uh, kind of a client uh, celebrity wall of previous owners and current owners of marathons. And I just really like the aesthetics of it. Let's head this way.
All right. So you've seen it before, but this is a really good representation of our owners that have some sort of celebrity. And I really like this collection of items and it's constantly changing because we constantly are getting uh, clientele that needs to be moved in here. And Reginald would like to know um, when we will showcase a production coach or if we can see one today. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and that's why we're doing this show. Reginald just asked, our, our guy down in Las Vegas, a uh, good friend of ours, just asked um, if we could see a production coach. Let's walk back out this way. We're gonna go a little long on time as we already are, but you know, for those of you who wanna watch later, or you know, your lunch time is over or your break time is over, come check us out later on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, we're going to walk this way and kind of see what's going on in production. There we go. Okay, so from here, from here you can see the whole production floor. There's a lot going on this morning. Break time is over. You see several coaches in different modes of production. Actually, if we come over this way, Here's a coach that just sold that is getting prepared for the owners to come in and uh, take delivery. Um, that's why it's moved inside so it's out of the rain. It's been, it's been detailed and the uh, new owners of that pre-owned coach are uh, going to take delivery. And that delivery process, usually with Dave Bash, can be anywhere from uh, a day or two to a week. And you can see uh, on the other side of this wall, we've got the scaffolding rolled in. You can see all the way down there, the slide is pulled out, the scaffolding is rolled in, the bay doors are open, so they're working on the bays. They're working on install on the slide out. That is the salon slide out that's been pulled out for production. And that's the way we do it. And roll these uh, scaffolding right up into the slide out so that we can do the install. Well, that's pretty much it without revealing all of the secrets of the world, but uh, any other thoughts uh, or comments or questions before we roll out of here? Just lots of gratitude and lots of praise. That's awesome. Uh, thanks for sticking with us. It's a long show, but I like the long shows, especially when we're doing a theme like this. Uh, so where... Reginald and Kevin. They both thank you. Yeah. Lots of exclamation points. Reginald and Kevin, thank you. And thank you to all of you guys for watching. Um, Marathon's a very unique company. I think you can see that not just from the product that we produce, but it's uh, very evident on these shows that we do for Marathon Mondays. Uh, for everyone from our owner, uh, Steve Shellhorn, all the way down to our production crew, all the way down to our sales guys, all the way down to our design team, everybody is on board with the full transparency um, and that's what makes Marathon unique. We do unique things. We build a beautiful product and it's fun to do. And I really enjoy bringing these shows to you guys um, every Monday morning. It's, it's, been, it's been fun. We're gonna keep it up. 
Uh, make sure you email me at malw at marathoncoach.com if you're interested in any of our pre-owned coaches, any of our new coaches. You want to custom order a coach? Let us know. Um, other than that, let us know your ideas for future shows and uh, have a good week. And I'm going to go get some coffee. I know Mickey's getting some tea. Todd's a coffee guy too. I'm out of here. Have a good week, everybody. Be yourself and do good things.